Hello and welcome to a quick first run through Alpha 2 of Homesick, which is an adventure game by indie developer Lucky Paws. It was funded sometime last year on Kickstarter and the testers just received the second version and now we're finally allowed to post some screenshots and videos and so on. So it's really a classical adve adventure game, but it is a first person game, which means you'll have to do a fair share of exploring to find the items you need. There's also a second task, and that's getting through the area. You see, during daytime, you can't access the whole area. Anything that's too bright will block your, your path. So, not a whole lot to do here. A lot of switches. Since light and shadow take uh, play a huge part in the game, they made it a bit more obvious by making the wire wiring a lot more pronounced. Since it's also about nightmares, it's important to go to sleep in this game. They include a little hint here. But it's too early to go to sleep, so let's head out. First door is locked. Now we unlock it. Most of the objects are rather small, so you'll do the equivalent of pixel hunting. Let's flip the switches here. Again, I made it a bit more obvious. This switch used to be over here. And one thing I wouldn't know if I hadn't played this game before, but during the nightmare I'll need the X, so I'll unlock it now. I can't actually use it right now, but you can see that the shadow stays where, where it was. This is a nice little hint that tells you that there's something special going on with this object. So we can walk around here. Not everything in Homesick is even remotely useful. This room in its entirety is not needed. The only thing that's useful here is this note. There are many of these notes. We've been told they're just placeholders, so don't bother deciphering them. It's a cupboard. Nothing in it. Nothing in it. You really do a lot of exploring, because while the place isn't overly big, it is very detailed and you can interact with just... Uh, not just about anything, but with a lot of stuff. Oh, too bright. But we can see a bit of the outside world. Apparently we're in an apartment complex. That's just about anything we know. Everything we know, actually. Door lock. Yeah, I've broken the light to make it clear that the wiring is connected to the lights. And the key. The door is locked and we can't unlock it with this key. So we can take the key. Let's take the key and unlock this door. And now we get a bucket. Um, 
construct something. This note. This note is really important because it's the first hint that your first task is going to be to grow flowers. So a bucket actually makes a lot of sense. We just have to fill it with some water. It's a bathtub. our picture we can go to sleep and enter enter nightmare mode mm. Mm. Uh, pick up the eggs in nightmare mode darkness is deadly so standing still which is why I flipped, I flipped all the light switches before Here, here. But as you probably can remember, we couldn't get through here because it was too bright, so take the chance and go here and go in the area. But the is still blocked here, so we need a way to enter this area to the page. slowly so can you can appreciate the beautiful artwork I mean these guys they literally sculpted the paint that's falling off, off the walls you really should spend a few minutes just looking at the stuff it's because it's gorgeous to right ah, another place to lie down, another place to grow flowers. Another switch, and this seems vaguely familiar too. Can't go through here. Let's open. hidden here. The numbers. That's not the important note. The important note is hidden here. Zero, zero, and two characters. Simply is uh, the system used for all the lock combinations here. the bathtub anymore. So we'll have to find something else. No, oh, the lights already turned on. Oh, 
What? It's going to take a while. Switch. Not working, but luckily we have one more. And Let's go to sleep once more. Mm. I probably forgot to flip some switch, but we can't go through here, we can go through here. Well, light again. This is going to be the final room so I'm going to say goodbye now. The alpha is still quite short but if Lucky Paws can keep up this level of quality then I'm really looking forward to this game. See you next time!